How can we predict the outcome of an inelastic collision? This is the question students explore in Investigation 11B, Inelastic Collisions. In this investigation, students produce an inelastic co collision between two carts and explore the total momentum and kinetic energy of the two-cart system before and after the collision. Level the track and then mount an end stop at each end. Place the red cart on the left and the blue cart on the right both with their Velcro ends facing each other. This way, when the carts collide Velcro to Velcro, they'll stick together, producing an inelastic collision. Open the 11B experiment file and connect the carts using Bluetooth. Set the blue cart stationary in the center of the track and the red cart at the left end of the track. Start recording data and then give the red cart a gentle push toward the blue cart, allowing them to collide. Stop recording data after they've collided. In your software, use the multi-coordinates tool to find the velocity of each cart just before and just after the collision. Record the velocity values and the mass of each cart in the table in the handout. Students will then repeat the same procedure for different combinations of masses between the red and blue carts, placing cart masses in the top of either or both carts. Students should note that the mass of the empty cart is approximately 250 grams. In any given mass combination, students will see that the total momentum of the system before the collision is equal to the total momentum of the system after the collision, implying that momentum was conserved in the inelastic collision. Students will also see that the total kinetic energy of the system was not conserved, which is a fundamental characteristic of inelastic collisions.